Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to RimWorld in what is a take two of sorts. Um, <clears throat> I recorded a bit of this a moment ago and uh, then I have People Can Change uh, installed on this mod so that, you know, if someone's always happy then they can become an optimist and if someone's always depressed then they'll become depressive. What I didn't realize is that it also basically just randomizes and says, ah, oh, you know what, um, this, sorry, I'm looking for Zeetwig, uh, Gladiator, yeah, I don't want that. And it took Gladiator away from Zeetwig, and I'm sorry, but we've invested quite a bit of time making Zeetwig the amazing, oh, speaking of which, uh, the amazing um, person that Zeetwig is. So I'm going to go ahead and say no thank you, uh, and we'll revert back to a save. I don't usually like doing that, but... It had to be done in this case. So, um, here's where we were. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas about this whole front area of the... No, that's right, I've got to do it down like this and do a little seal up there. I'm also going to seal up this door. And then I'm going to build fresh doors here and here. Don't worry, this will become all apparent in a moment. I'm going to deconstruct that. I'm going to deconstruct all of this. And then we're going to relocate the sandbags to about here, I think. That should be fine. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to plug up this, and then I'd like to go like this, and then deconstruct this. Uh, oh, and, well, <laughs> of course we should <clears throat> absolutely remove those sandbags as well. So, the, th the thought that I have is that... Um, it's taking a long time for our people when we pick them up and recruit them to take them to get them all the way up here. And by that time, we might have people already coming into the kill box. So I'm just flipping the kill box upside down. Uh, it does mean that there's only going to be a single kill box and then we can fall back to here as our secondary point. But I think it will, in the long run, prove to be a much, much, much better um, for us going forward. I'd also like to have a nice fast path to get there. So we're going to have some concrete uh, and it can go like this. Uh, they will probably path diagonally actually, um, but that's okay. Uh, and as for all of this tilled soil here, we're just going to dig all of that up. We don't need it. Actually, don't go that far. Just go to like there and we just want to avoid pulling that bridge up ideally. And let's get rid of that tilled soil there as well and there. Perfect. Uh, these trees shall also be concreted over so that there's no impediment to moving about here quickly. Um, and that should be nice. Okay, good. All right, what else have we got to worry about down here? What other things did I think about? Um, I've also uh, added the blueprints mod. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that, blueprints. Um, but I've added the blueprints mod so we can copy and paste these bedrooms should we have new people join the colony. Um, <clears throat> oh, and the other mod that I've installed is, let's just play in some grass, right? I think that'll be fun. Actually, ooh, ooh, hey, hey, I've got a great idea. Zone, growing zone, uh, through here. So we did want to have a growing zone here, and we did want to fill it with, uh, stuff, but we can try putting in some tall grass, because tall grass, uh, let's see. Do, 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 limited lifespan, fertility requirement, 70%, no worries. Uh, sensitivity, okay, well, look, we don't really need to sort of worry about this too much, but it might be fun to allow some tall grass in there because, well, hang on, I was going to show you the thing that I was just looking at. Um, tall grass, let's have a look at it. Wild tall grass slows down anyone moving over it. Uh-huh, so at the moment through here, uh, the walk speed is 72%. Um, so that's regular grass. Let's see if there's any wild tall grass out here anywhere. Um, and we should be able to see the change in walk speed. Uh, is that tall grass? No, it's all just regular grass. Um, it's okay. We'll see it once it gets, um, once it gets grown in that, uh, that pillbox area, uh, or the, you know what I'm trying to say, in that frontal area. Oh, hello. Um, okay, we'll bring that in. Uh, it's, there's not much of it left, but you know, <laughs> any food is good food. Um, 
Hmm, okay, I can't see any tall grass anywhere. So, never mind. Uh, let's just focus on what's going on here. Get the kill box rebuilt. Uh, it shouldn't take us too long. In fact, I should have probably considered fully completing the kill box before putting the floors down. Um, yeah, let's, um, let's get a little engaged in this. Uh, oh, no, okay. Okay, it's all right. No need to stress. So, kill box, done. Um, top wall, done. And did I install... No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to install was defensive positions, and I completely forgot to do that. Um, we've finished our medicine production research, and I keep seeing this happening, and I know why. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just pause, tick, tick. And then that means that the, the meals will get stored in here. Uh, instead of out here where they don't get turned over fast enough um, because we're now making some decent meals people are eating the good meals and the fine uh, sorry the simple meals uh, are just getting sort of stored in here uh, what I think I should also do is for those simple meals let's change that out so that there's no meat um, and no animal products so it's purely vegetarian so they'll just be like bowls of rice for all intents and purposes um, which, you know, makes for a fine backup, uh, backup food. And how much rice do we currently have? Uh, 1,041. We're looking good on rice and so good that I think what I might do is change this out to corn. Um, because I think that having a little bit... Okay, that's bound to happen. Um, I think that having a little bit of a higher caloric intake... So, like, if you look at corn here, uh, nutrition is 0.3, whereas rice the nutrition is 0.14, right? So I feel like, um, yeah, growing up some some additional corn is going to be better for us long term. Um, just because it's, you know, it's a more effective food, you know? Uh, cool. So Boba is uh, absolutely cranking through. Did she just have four? Sorry, Bertha. Did she just have four? Oh, my God. Um, 21 hours of being totally stoned. Okay, well... Uh, enjoy that. It'll help with the pain, uh, at least. So that's totally fine. Um, and the meals are cranking. Hum sneaky, popping out some fine meals here. We've got some fish coming together for some of them. Oh man, this is fantastic. Um, well, I say fish, it's an eel, which is, you know, that's a type of fish. Um, okay. And how are we looking in here? Storage wise, we're doing well. There's another normal statue here. Very nice. Very nice. Let's put that in Mad Hatter's bedroom. Uh, and then one for Beth as well. I'll tell you what though, so that Beth doesn't get disturbed sleep, what I might just quickly do is, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Like, like we needed that right now. But anyway, um, I'll just deconstruct these uh, batteries here. I think we should be okay. Um, and let's go ahead and grab Jade Staggered. Okay, I think... Why can I not right-click this? Okay, I think there was a an autosave happening there and a bit of a a bit of a like oh gosh what's happening moment. Uh, yes, that is the type of tile that we're looking for, and then we can reinstall uh, this, or we can build a copy. That's also fine. Um, that can go there. Um, okay, so let's deconstruct and then reinstall this facing the opposite direction, and then yeah, once that's been taken care of. We'll remove this door, we'll place a copy here. And that way to get into here, you can come through the workshop and that'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> we've got a door on the south here. I think it might also be worthwhile having a door on the north. And if that's the case, we should also have a uh, plain leather little uh, maduba there. And we're also going to need, once this door kicks in, some floors here because I don't want people tracking muck into the comms, uh, sorry, the uh, the workshop. I want to try and keep this place as clean as possible. Um, okay, good. Actually, um, if I expand this, I just need to double double check. Yeah, see, this doesn't reach all the way. So what we might do is just quickly shrink those two tiles there, those two tiles there. And I think it was three and then like that. Was that it? Yes, perfect. 
Um, oh, the Fenrir chase. Bloody hell. Okay. We should really... I really want to go and do... Hang on a second. Before we go any further, let's get this comms console back in. And then we can plug up this wall here, or this door, uh, with a wall. And that will make Beth a lot happier because people aren't tromping through her uh, bedroom to get to the comms console. Fantastic. Okay. So that's in. That's done. Um, and... I'm pretty happy with how things are looking right now, I have to say. I think we're doing okay. We've got a good amount, not a great amount of psychoid leaves at the moment, uh, but we do have some coming in. It is ready to harvest, so that's fantastic. Uh, and when Mad Hatter gets up to mo Catatonic, Beth? Oh dear. Why? Poor mood, moderate psychic drone. That is pretty uh, unfortunate, actually. Um... Yeah, wow. That sucks. Uh, why was she soaking wet? Um, where was she going that led her to become soaking wet? Like, there's no, um, there's no water anywhere in the base that you have to cross to get somewhere. Unless... Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, game. Um, right, so we're gonna have to deal with that in a moment. Um, poor Warg just got absolutely smacked on its birthday, no less. Um, and now we've got, what, <clears throat> seven enemies to deal with. But how many people do we have who are available? Ten. And we should be able to take them relatively easily. We might also want to keep an eye on that fire, too, by the looks of it. Um, I don't really want it to go and burn down my parasite. Um, but it may do. This doesn't make sense, game. It doesn't make sense. Why is steel burning? No logic. Absolutely not. Um, okay, so that is fine. The drone is ending. Very nice. Um, you know, having said, hey, we're totally fine. We really do need some more uh, more meat in this stockpile, don't we? Um, let's have a look around and see. Let's, let's actually use the wildlife tab and see what we have to hunt. Some ibex. That sounds like a good idea. I wouldn't mind hunting that mega sloth as well. Uh, but we can also get that elk. Um, let's though, before that kicks off, yeah. Yeah. Let's, um, let's just quickly undo that. And we'll deal with these before we queue some hunting up. I feel like... I feel like letting people roam about and do their do their own thing is just a recipe for accidentally waking up the mechanoids, and then uh, you know having some having some dramas. We don't want that. We don't want that. Where are you going, Levy? You're hauling a. Oh my god. Oh, I see. Are we out of uh, chunks in the base? We may be. Okay, so we might need to spot some slate uh, that's a little closer to home and mine some of it out, I think. Yeah, we've got some here that we can grab. So let's just quickly um, order up a cheeky little bit of mining on these two blobs uh, so we can get a little bit of extra slate uh, into the base for construction purposes. That'll be fine. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. Okay, so. Archer, how you doing? Needs? Okay, you're exhausted and depressive, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, uh, let's not go too fast here. Um, let's keep an eye on where these Thrumbo are, because I absolutely want to go and murder them. I want all three of them, because I want to make a Thrumbo for Archer. I mean, Archer's got this wand at the moment, which seems pretty awesome, but have you seen what the Thrumbo can do? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's... 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Uh, the thrum bow. A bow shaped from the horn of a thrum bow. The horn is hollowed out, hallowed out to decrease the weight and soften by soaking it in magicite compound and adds a surprising suppleness to the horn. The bow is further enhanced with embedded enchantments and arcane engravings that travel the length of the bow. 
uh, said to be almost sentient, able to determine the intended target through a mental link with the wielder. Arrows fired from this bow will almost always hit their intended target. This effect does have a tendency to uh, delude the users on their own capability. So, max energy plus 20, energy regen 10%, damage boost 20%, ability cooldown minus 10, and class XP gain lower, but you know what, for those benefits, man alive, that's gonna be real good. Holy shit. We've got people falling off the bottom of the, oh, Boba. Hey, all right. You gonna give it a try? Oh, hello. Oh, uh-huh. Yep. Nice. That should help out with their mood for a little bit. Um. A little bit of smooching, a little bit of got some loving. Excellent stuff. That's what we like to see. You know, don't need to be prudish about it. Sometimes you can just have a little bit of fun. Oh, statues. Uh, okay, so this one's poor because Turtle's made it. But Turtle, you know, I'm, I'm happy for Turtle to be making some stuff. Where's your bedroom, Turtle? Is it down here? Yes, it is. Okay, here you go. Let's put that on the refrigerator for you. Um, it's beautiful. And what about this one? An excellent one uh, made by Jeff. And the image, uh, the title is Image Q31X, which apparently it's, uh, it's an artwork of Boba searching for a warm formal shirt and shivering uncontrollably. Oh dear. Um, the whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of six boxes. Uh, huh? All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, it's the story of Boba freezing to death. Boba? Hello? I mean... You're okay now, right? Hmm. Interesting. Um, I think it means just, you know... It's an image of Boba being cold. Which is fine. I think we can deal with that. Uh, let's give this one to Devis. Make Devis' room all nice and fancy. And man, Jeff is doing such a great job here. Such a wonderful job. There is one other thing I've been thinking about too, is if we do spot any more sheep, we should totally go and get them. All right. Now that we've got Archer back up and running, I think it's time. So we're going to pop down here and we're going to change everyone out so that they're wielding their ranged kit uh, because I feel like that's the best way to go. And Mad Hatter, don't know why you don't have a weapon equipped at all. Uh, but yeah, if you guys could all come down here, please. Um, don't mind us, Strombos. It's all, it's all fine. Um, and let's not go anywhere near this because that's a, that's a recipe for disaster. And I feel like if we start with this bottom one, we should be okay. Um, I hope. We're about to find out. So let's go. Should we just do Drafted Hunt? I feel like, yeah. Here we go. Do -do 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 oh. Don't be shooting at Isabel. Poor Isabel the... What is she, a duck? Oh. That's alright. We can go and rescue her in a moment. Alright, and now let's go up this way. And we'll take these two down. I think that shot to the south was probably Isabel the Duck as well. Thrumbo Revenge, that's fine. We knew that this was happening, but I'm pretty sure that we've got the skills to pay the bills. Um, okay, excellent, and yeah, that's fine. We'll take care of that walk at the same time. Uh, Bertha's gonna go and finish off this one, Snap, and then if someone could go and finish this one off for me, that'd be fine. And let's haul, haul urgently all three of these. Uh, hello, double click. There we go. Uh, and you guys can go about your business. Fantastic. It feels a bit mean. You know, I feel like it'd be nicer to tame them um, and, you know, be able to use them in that manner. But, uh, hey, look, I'm sorry, Thrumbo. But this is just the way it's going to be. Also, uh, that's taken care of our meat situation quite nicely. And we've got some Thrumbo fur. And what we might just quickly do is in here, and I believe that thrombo fur is counted as leather, which it is. Let's tick that on so we can use that to make some parkers with. Uh, that will be dandy. So 
two, and then three thrombo horns are now at our disposal. So let's go ahead and add a bill to make a thrombo. Ooh, what's a thrombo axe? Ooh, la la la. What are you? How many? How many do you need? Uh, it doesn't say. But yes, max energy, damage boost, uh, arcane resistance, uh huh, and a cleaving strike. Uh, yeah, totally. Uh huh. Wow. Um, okay. Where do these stack up? Let's just have a quick look here. Ranged, including craftable. Yeah, okay. Well, that's that's value. Um, so, DPS. Mm, that's not great. Um, sort by damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, armor pen. It is down here. Oh. But we're not doing... Like, look, honestly, we're not doing this... We're not doing this for um, <clears throat> super duper power uh, or like super duper DPS. I think we've got that covered with everyone else that we're we're armed up with. But I think what we are doing it for is the buffs that it's going to give us. So let's make a thrum bow. Uh, that'll be good. Uh, I think we can also make an elephant spear. So let's get one of those up and running. And finally. Um, so hang on, let's see. Thrumbo requires... Wow. Whoa. Holy frack. Um, I think we've got enough material for this. I definitely know that we have enough, um, gold. We don't actually have enough jade. That is a bit poopy, honestly. Um, and I don't believe that there's any anywhere on the map. Uh, in fact, I know that there's none anywhere on the map because we've looked a hundred times for stuff to mine. And of course, there isn't any. Uh, what are you doing, Archer? Shearing the sheep. Fantastic. Um, how much is that going to give you? Is it 45? It is. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Okay, so how are we looking now? So we've got a whole bunch of chickens and still only two sheeps. Uh, although this one, I believe, is... No? Hmm. Have you, have you guys not been... Yeah. Oh, no, we have. We've got a lamb. Uh, and it's right in front of my eyes. Uh, but it's a tiny thing, so it was hard for me to see. Um, do you see... Yeah, as it's a lamb, it doesn't have any wool growth just yet. But it will come. Uh, I think I'd also like to um, extend... I don't need that one there, thank you. Uh, I think I'd like to extend this room and maybe have a, another door down here. Um, and then deconstruct this wall. I feel like that's a good idea. So that these animals uh, can just have a little bit more space for sleeping. It might get a little bit colder, uh, but we can double check on that uh, and make sure that we've got enough uh, fixings to make that happen. Uh, so there's some slates that we've now got a little closer to where we need it. Uh, there's a few more bits and pieces here that we could just schnick out. Um, mind connector doors. Okay. I was wondering if that was going to work, but no. Uh, all right, so here we go. Get the barn expanded, and then we can go ahead and whack down some more of these. Just fill it all up, because I intend to have a jolly amount of chickens in this place. Um, we do have a good amount that are coming along already. Oh, and let's put in some more... Um, Beth had a fight with Parker? Okay, that's fine. Um, Parker can heal her. Uh, in fact, it looks like Parker already did. Just splash a little heal onto her before um, before rolling on. Uh, let's grab some straw matting in this room as well, just to keep the filth levels, well, not down. It basically just ignores the filth, um, which is fine. We do have two stone blocks that need to be built there, but I'm sure someone will do that momentarily. What are we making? Uh, Magicite elephant doobly thing um and i think we'll give that to whoever's like maybe not devers but someone else who's got good melee like boba i think boba could do with an elephant spear uh oh hang on i'm sneaky 14 uh 14.55 oh yeah that's weak, of course um 8.33 beth you're fine bertha nope parker nope um i mean it would be nice to it would be nice 
Um, if we could... Wow, look at that. Huh. That's pretty poor. I was going to say, it'd be nice if we could get Parker to do more. Uh, so far as... Um, so far as uh, the um, melee side of things go. Because you've got these cool things, like Overwhelm and, and Valiant Charge. Um, but at the moment, you know, Park, Parker's... Parker's focusing on healing and making people happy, which I think is good. Um, speaking of which, any points? Oh, there's six points available. Okay, so let's go like this, this, this. And I really want to, with Parker, do the thing that I didn't do with everyone else, which is to, to lean into the stuff at the top here as well. Um, yeah, okay, good. Um, uh, next level creates an aura of hope around the caster. Arcane augmentation. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Good, good, good. Good stuff. All right. How are we looking? There is a thrombo fur parka, which is excellent and carries the insulation of 81.6 degrees. Wow. Wow. That is spectacular. Um, okay. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Here's another poor one that Turtle's made. That's totally fine. And good work. Good work, Turtle. You just keep going. You keep going. I'm looking forward to the point where Turtle uh, then has... Because um, wasn't Turtle a tortured artist? Yeah. Okay. So when Turtle has that tortured, tortured artist thing, and that's part of the reason why I'm getting letting Turtle uh, keep making some small statues, because really, the more work that um the more skills sorry uh, that turtle has um in artistic the better that tortured artist is going to uh, is going to be for us the more um effective it'll be shall we say okay cool um so we're getting fed oh shit that's the other thing i need to double check uh-huh yeah there's a fertilized egg in the stockpile uh let's make sure that we don't do that Thankfully, it did get ruined by temperature, so we don't uh, need to worry about that. So no eggs, thank you. In fact, no foods. We don't want to keep any foods in here. Uh, foods live in here, and only the unfertilized eggs get brought up into here. Nice. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Um, if I just say no eggs, then what's going to happen is that the uh, unfertilized eggs that are down there will just continually stack up. Right, so I want these these chickens to breed like rabbits. Um, I want to have as many as possible, so that when we get into the deep dark deep dark depths of winter, um, we're basically creating ourselves a machine um, that turns hay grass into meat. Uh, right, so geothermal power has been done. What's this one? A ranger chased by tribespeople. Okay. 52-year-old Rich is calling from nearby. He's being chased by the tribespeople of the Grey Skunk Rebbe, our, our hated enemies. He begs for safety and offers to join you. Oh, that's a big raid. That is a huge, huge, huge raid. Um, oh, did that just... Did that just time out? Oh. Oh. I was going to have that. Oh, 7th of August, 0.3 days ago. And because I didn't pause the game, it's removed the option. Oh shit, that's pretty, that sucks. Um, sorry, Rich. Uh, peace out, but peace out, man. Uh, all right, so let's get rid of all of this malarkey. Let's go ahead and get in our first and uh, probably not the last. Uh, where is it? It's in power. Uh, it's here, and it's going to cost eight components, which we have, and we'll connect it up. Now, do we need this? No, technically. Is it nice to have additional power so that we can stay, you know, kicking along, even if there's a, an eclipse, or even if it's not windy? Yes, very nice. And in fact, by putting this in, it means that we can consider building a, another one of these, uh, because these puppies pull, what, uh, 2,900 watts, um, which I think these produce like 3,400, 3,600, I can't remember off the top of my head. 
Um, but we're about to find out. Uh, oh, hi. Hello. That's, uh, yeah, that's a bit cheeky. Um, but it's uh, not good. Uh, so what's this? Slices of fever, and they're going to prepare for a while and uh, then attack. There are people who have relationships. It's Deva's wife. Well, that's interesting, Devers. Isn't it? Uh, and you have no opinion on your wife, although it's plus 30 uh, because she is your wife. So that's interesting. And then you've also got Dyer, uh, who also works for the Slices of Fever. That's very interesting. Devers, you know, it's like run away from home to join the, uh, join the Nords. Um, okay, so how are we looking? They're all going to land down there and they're going to prepare for a while. Uh, they seem to have a lot of animals with them. Is there a reason you brought a whole bunch of Ibex does? Or were they there beforehand? Did, uh, mm, okay. Well, um, let's just not, not think about that too hard. Uh, I think it's probably the case that they were there beforehand and I just missaw that. Uh, we do have a couple of specials here. Uh, this person's a Blood Mage and also a Mana Well. Ooh, increased resistance to the ebb and flow of mana, which allows her to hold an additional 40. Oh, that's a dear, that, oh dear. That's, mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't want that. That's gonna, that's gonna cause us some problems. Uh, let's hope that that doesn't, mm. Um, so this person's a fire mage. Very nice. And what about you guys? Any special people down here? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Just regular chomps. Um, I do note that they've got a couple of snipper rifles, uh, which I do know outrange um, the ones of frost, the ice ones. So we just need to be a little careful about that. So what we might do is let's just revisit our hide inside zone um, and make sure that that's being expanded uh, where we need it to be. Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. Home. I, oh, well, never mind. They're coming for us. All right, all right, everyone. Indoors. And Levy, uh, let's get you recruited up and back here. Zitwig, if you could arm yourself, please. And Bertha, if you could do the same. And God, I don't know why. Oh. Because this is set. All right, right click that. And let's see if maybe uh, we can get Mad Hatter to use her weapon correctly from here on in. All right, everyone. Let's line up here. Uh, it's not the best uh, for all of this, but that's totally fine. And let's look at this. Walk speed is 72% uh, because the grass is only 64% grown. Okie dokie. Everyone, uh, and actually Archer, I need you to headshot this person right away. Thank you. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, Archer, let's... Let's do some uh, in-combat upgrading here as well. Why not? Uh, let's see now. I am going to start leaning into these sort of things so that what we have can be triggered more frequently. Zitwig, anything for you? One more point. Yep, let's get some more fitness. And uh, Parker. Magic. Nope, Parker. Uh, magic, thank you. One more point available. Uh, I would like that to be spent on... Ray of Hope. Very nice. Okay, so this is interesting. Igniting wooden wall. Okay, well, we're going to have to replace those walls then. Um, and let's just keep an eye on what's going on here. Uh, also, who was... Was it Julia? Um, who had the relationship? No, who's Devers? Uh, social. Uh, it's Rose, who is still outdoors. She's still alive. Uh, so, Salverson. Uh, savory foods. Nice. So, let's keep our eyes peeled for Salverson. We might be able to grab her and, like... Uh-huh. How are you doing? Nice. Oh, shit. Levy. Capture. Yes. 18 me- Oh, no, that's Levy. Um... Okay, nothing exciting here, but I want a fire mage. The anxiety is not great. Uh, abrasive is not super good either, but you know what? 
Let's get this person in. Um, and hopefully this doesn't become a problem. Uh, so let's capture. Very nice. Here comes Jet, uh, who, if their name isn't Joan, I'll be very upset. And pew, 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 pew. Fucking spectacular. Uh oh, this is, uh, this is actually a problem. A um, little bit of a problem. All right, here comes Jerry. Jerry. Savina. Savina is dead. Missy. Dead. Marjo. Dead. Tail. Dead. Please don't kill Salverson, guys. Thank you. That's actually fantastic. All right, so let's go get Mad Hatter to capture. Uh, we need another bed. Uh, and this would be great. Devers can reunite. Like, we, we can bring her across to our little place. And Devers can hook back up with his wife. Isn't that great? I think that's fantastic. Okay, so let's capture uh, Salverson, uh, the Joywara. And everyone else, please go about your business. And that business right now is extinguishing uh, the massive fire in our kill box. Um, and it's really something I thought I should have thought about, but you know, that's totally fine. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get rid of that. Replace that wooden wall with something slightly less flammable. Um, I mean, it's not a bad thing, really. It's not super bad. Like if we, yes, I know there's dead bodies about, but we also have two friggin' doomsday rocket launches. Thank you very much. Um, which I absolutely am going to haul in as soon as humanly possible because I don't know about you, but I quite enjoy a little cheeky doomsday rocket launcher every now and then. Oh, and some medicine too. Thanks everyone. Um, in fact, uh-huh, uh-huh, little cheeky doomsday rocket launcher for these guys. That might be fun. Um, in, in hindsight, what I could have done was like gotten someone down here and pinged one of these guys to wake them up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, Levy was working on it, but he wasn't fast enough. Oh no. Oh, that's a real shame. Oh, Devers, how do you feel? Um, oh no, that is really bad. That is really bad. Oh, Devers, mate, I'm so sorry. Oh, I mean, I got Mad Hatter to go and... Wait. He wasn't... He wasn't tending to her. <sighs> I'm... Um, <clears throat> I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm halfway tempted. When was the last auto save? <laughs> no, nah, okay. Alright, and if we go back any further, things will change too much. It's fine. And I hate I hate saves coming anyway. P pretend I didn't do that. Anyway, right, so. Um, that's a real shit. Um, because Levy was recruited, Levy did not treat uh, Salverson. And as a result, Devers is going to be in a very foul mood. Because not only his wife, but his friend just passed away that really really sucks but we've got Boyle and that's something so let's get Boyle recruited uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what a fire mage can do and we're slowly gathering some magic into this colony which I'm pretty happy about uh, holy dooly there's a, there's a bunch of dead people to be, to be burned um, I think it might not be a bad idea actually if we have a little door at the top here for corpse removal so people don't have to like it should be in fact no it's going to be that's going to be a longer path anyway um is walk speed through because most of these people didn't even make it off the stone is walk speed really a problem i don't think it is i don't think it is i think it's going to be okay um to like tile over this whole area because look at how slow people are moving through this it says 72%. 
but I don't believe that that's the case. Although Beth is, hang on. No? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that, so she's gonna move a little bit slower. Right, um, damn, I am so shook up about Deva's wife. I'm really upset about that. And you know why I'm really upset? I'm really upset because, I mean, Levy made it back and he was just standing there recruited. But to be fair, I unrecruited everyone else. I would have expected Parker or, um, or Mad Hatter. I mean, Mad Hatter was tending to the other guy. I would have expected Parker to sling in there as well. Three is not nothing. And the, oh. Right. Yep. No. It's 100% my bad. 100% my bad. Oh. That is, that is super shitty. And I feel really bad that I've done that. <sighs> but. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. All right. Last thing before we finish up, let's wait for Bobo to finish up on uh, their little break. Um, we'll get the rest of this kill box finally finalized, um, which we might be slightly out of um, slate. Yes, we are, uh, but that's okay. We can we can grab some more. There's plenty down here for us to mine up. Let's just order up a few cheeky little nuggets of this. And we'll just dig in a little bit so we don't uh, get into deep territory and therefore bug territory. I could go ahead and replace this with wood, but eh, let's not. Let's not and say, oh, no, we've had, we've, we've, we had enough. So that's totally fine. So let's get some uh, bodies burned uh, so that we can get them out of people's line of sight and therefore make people feel better uh, about things. Uh, we'll wait for everyone to relax up a little bit. And there's a bandit. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. So this bandit outpost. Oh, shit. Yeah, they've now got three bases. Right? So the outposts, when you first click on them, so there's six enemies here. And then these ones, these are actual, you know, villages. This one's just called Barbarian Village. Uh, and this one's called Roto and Revenger's Forest. I'm not sure which was first. I can't recall. Um, has anyone else upgraded? No, it's just the slices. Uh, and, well, and these guys. The Grey Skunks and the slices. Uh, and these guys, yeah, they're, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. We should probably make friends with them. When we get the pod uh, launcher down, I think it would be really handy to just, you know, trade with them as much as we can so that we can... Uh, so that we can become friends and trade more. Um, oh, sorry. I'm trying to say I will send them some gifts so that we can become friends and trade with them more. Uh, good. Okay, who's out there? It's Parker. Let's go. Uh, let's take care of this threat that's down here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just come down to like here. And then as we're whilst we're wandering, uh, we'll just get everyone equipped up with their sidearms. Oh. Devis, you do not have a bearded axe anymore, huh? Okay, that's fine. Uh, you're quite slow, so let's just ignore that for the time there, time being. Zetas is fine. His turtle, his Beth, his Parker, and that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate, and it's potentially going to cost someone's life. Uh, okay, everyone, um, search and destroy melee. And Zitwig, I'm kind of looking at you here because, holy shit, Levy, rescue Mad Hatter. Um, hang on, how is Mad Hatter? Let's see. Um, bleeding out in 13 hours, shot in the torso. Um, oh, there he goes, Archer. Okay. Oh, that was really bad. Zitwig? Okay. Okay, all right. We've got them all locked off now. It's totally fine. Um, Parker, I need you to stop what you're doing and come and heal Mad Hatter for me. Okay, great. Mad Hatter, come this way. And Parker, just, you know, keep... All right, I'm going to turn you off of that. And if you could just come over here and start casting your heal around on everyone, that'll make me very, very happy. He probably doesn't have enough mana to do it too many times um but that's okay 
let's get everyone back here. Parker, heal, Archer. Okay, great. Archer's back up and running. And let's all unrestrict and head back to base. Oof. That could have been a lot worse than it was. Um, <clears throat> uh, whose axe is that? Mad Hatter, is that yours? Okay. You are bleeding out in 20 hours. Boss, if you'd like to go back to base, Devers, you can fuck off. Um, and let's get these guys set up. Uh, who's not injured? Actually, Devers, would you like to melee attack this ship to death for me? That'd be very nice. Um... Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Well done. Uh, please get back to base. And these three things here can be unforbidden. And I dubbed the unforbidden. Um, uh, no, that was really bad. Sorry. Um, and I think we're going to be okay. So let's just double check on everyone. Uh, totally fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. Uh-huh. Turtle, you're okay. Bertha, you're okay. Mad Hatter has fallen over and is bleeding out. But Levy, if you could actually just tend to Mad Hatter for me, that'd be lovely. And then Parker, could you please come in here and just hang about for a bit and um, use up some of your mana on doing some quick treats on these peeps. Uh, and hopefully uh, it will be rather effective. Nice. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good to watch people just straight stand up and go, oh, okay, well, I'm done. Here comes another one. Okay, another combat skill ready for Beth. Bertha's but fully healed. Very nice. Levy's going to treat uh, Jeffo, but don't worry. Don't worry, because Parker's, I reckon, got one more left. Uh-huh, maybe one more. There we go. It would have been nice to treat Turtle as well, but it is just a gunshot in the left leg. Um, and Jeff, how you feeling? Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Just some cracks and bruises. All right, well, let's let Parker go back to bed. Um, I'm Sneaky's playing some cards. Nice hand there. And I think that's a good place to leave it off. So, friends, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.